Good morning, everybody. It's day 13, and it's cold. As you can see, it snowed last night. Um, <clears throat> once I finally got in my quilt and got all my layers on and um, just kind of sat still, I did end up warming up, and I slept pretty good, so that's good. But, man, it's just tough to get out of the quilt in the morning when you have to start hiking in this kind of weather. Um, I think it's actually supposed to snow a little bit more today, so it's going to be a cold day. I'm keeping my base layer leggings on, which I may regret at the end of the day, but I'm also going to hike in my frog togs, so I'm thinking they probably won't get wet. Um, I just can't put on my shorts. I can't bring myself to do it. Um... My voice is coming back today, it sounds like. I better knock on wood, but um, it sounds a little better today, so that's good. Maybe y'all can actually hear me. Um, but yeah, today's going to be kind of a longer day. I think 11.9 miles um, to the shelter. I can't remember which one. I'll update later. But um, it's going to be a cold, cold day. So uh, hopefully... Hopefully better than yesterday, though. Any idea what animal tracks we think this is? I'm on my way to go get my food bag, and I'm just hoping it's still there. Food bag was still here. It's cold, but it sure is beautiful out here. Um, it's the first water crossing of the day, and I think the trail goes that way. Honestly, not totally sure. It is kind of difficult to see the white places when everything is white. Um, so let's just pray I don't fall in this water and have wet, freezing feet for the rest of the day. Look at all this frost. It almost looks hairy. <laughs> it's coming out of the side of the mountain. Second, <clears throat> second water crossing of the morning. It's quite beautiful. Pro tip if you're hiking in the cold to get soft baked candy bars or uh, breakfast bars instead of like protein bars to eat for breakfast because your protein bars will be frozen. More snow. Increased bear activity. Yay. What a view. <coughs> Sorry for my coughing. Um, also, my voice, I think, is maybe not better today. <laughs> I thought it was, but maybe that was wishful thinking. Oh, it's pretty. I've decided that I like hiking in the snow. I just don't like being cold. It's so pretty. I'm just, like, in awe of it. And maybe that's just, like because I haven't seen snow a lot, but it's beautiful. I just don't want to be cold. All right, climbed up here to show everyone the view. Beautiful. Not one single thing. Can you see? <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, back to the trail. The wind kind of started picking up, so I've rigged my hat to block block the snow and ice from in my face. 
Not the cutest look, but hey, whatever works. The old toilet area with no toilet. But if you gotta go, I guess that's where you gotta go. Climbing up Alper Mountain, which is where the 100 mile marker is. Oh, it's tough though. So at the top of Alper Mountain is a big rock scramble. You can see there's a blaze here, and the next blaze is up here. And all of this is wet, slick, muddy, icy rock. Can't wait. We made it to the top of Albert Mountain. Let me show you guys the fire tower. Still sleeting in case anybody was wondering. And for that reason, we will not be climbing the fire tower. There it is. And the 100 miles. That's not the 100 mile sign, is it though? I feel like there was another one. And the iconic AT 100 mile sign. Ugh. You gotta touch it or it doesn't count. Let me show you guys the wonderful view from the top of Albert Mountain. And we can also read some really interesting facts here. <laughs> Cool. Here's the uh, summit plaque. And here's the view. <laughs> Beautiful. <coughs> Stunning. You also gotta get a selfie with it or it doesn't count. <laughs> also, in case anybody was wondering, I did just be at the top of our mountain to mark my territory, so no. We haven't seen a single person out here on trail all day. We saw two guys going Sobo and probably just like day hikers or weekend hikers um, early this morning. Other than that, not a single person, which is crazy. Um, Cause normally, you know, I see probably, I don't know, 20 people a day at least. Um, so. Kinda, kinda weird being out here all alone. Um, which obviously I'm not alone, I have Alex with me. Um, but kinda hoping the shelter tonight might be empty cause it might be my first night in a shelter, I don't know. The idea of setting up my tent in the snow does not sound fun though, so we'll see. I assume most everybody probably got off trail for the snow, um, but it just logistically didn't work out for us to do that, so. But we survived. Okay, so check back later. We made it to the shelter. <clears throat> I think this is Long Branch Shelter. Um, and I think that is gonna put me at an 11.8 mile day. Not totally confident, but feel really good. Um, also, I found phone service this morning and called my mom, so feeling better mentally also, so that's good. I'll check back with you guys a little later. Well, it's officially the end of day 13 and it's really, really cold. Um, tonight, I am sleeping in a shelter for the first time as is everybody else at this campsite because nobody wants to set up their tent in the snow. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, in the meantime, I'll keep this brief, but I had a really, really great day. Such an improvement mentally from yesterday. So I'm really happy about that. I had a chance to call my mom this morning and that kind of just like brought me to peace. So. It's been a really good day. I hit 100 miles on lucky day 13, <laughs> which is just awesome. And what a weird way to hit it. I feel like I've seen all four seasons <laughs> within this 100 miles, which is crazy. But yeah, um, tomorrow about just over seven miles, I think. 
and then we're going into Chica and Sunset's Hostel in Franklin, North Carolina. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll keep y'all posted. Mm -hmm.